Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, or welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing Spanish predictions for La Liga. <coughs> We've done Bundesliga predictions, they've done quite well. We'll be doing Premier League predictions as well, but first of all, <coughs> how are you today, Dad? I'm alright, mate. You alright? I'm alright, yes. We'll start off with Sevilla, who face Real Betis at home. What have you got down for this one? I've gone for a 2 all draw on this one. High yeah. scoring draw, um, a local derby. Um, Sevilla are a lot higher than in the table, but I think that It'll be a draw, obviously the first game back, a bit of rustiness, so I think it'll be a 2 all draw. Yeah, I've gone for a 2-1 Sevilla, Sevilla win. I think Sevilla are a better side, as you said, but obviously you've gone with the draw. But I just think Sevilla edge it, and I think 2-1s are going to be a fair result. Now we move on to Granada, who welcome Getafe to their stadium. I've got this down as a 3-1 away win. Getafe have been doing fairly well this season. Granada are on the opposite end of the spectrum, not doing brilliantly. How have you got this one down? I've gone 2-1 for Getafe to win away. Um, close game, but I think they'll sneak it 2-1. Yeah. Now we have uh, a trip for Levante. They travel to Valencia. What have you got down for this one? I think Valencia will be too strong for them. I think they'll win 2-1 um, and get their, the season restarted in good style for them. At the Mestalla. Yeah. I've, I've gone for a similar result. I've gone 2-0. I just think Valencia are too strong for Levante and I think Valencia will, will get back and start off brilliantly. Yep. Now we, uh, we're we going to talk about Espanyol who welcome Deportivo Alaves to their stadium. What do you think for this one? I think these are two like mediocre teams in Spain where I think it'll be a one all draw. Nothing exciting. one all draw. Yeah, I've gone for a one nil Alaves away win. I think they're, they're slightly better. I don't think either side's particularly brilliant. I just think Alaves edge it for me, so I think one team's going to win, and I think that will be Alaves. Okay. Now we uh, we go on to a team that have kind of surprised me when I looked at the table and I saw that this team, that Celta Vigo, were so low. Because mm. I remember Celta Vigo as a team that would be, not brilliant, but they'd be mid-table or medio mediocrity. But they face Villarreal at home, a team who are always known to be in the top half. Mm. And I've got this down as, uh, surprisingly, a 3-1 Celta Vigo win. I've gone for a Celta Vigo 2-1 win. Hmm. I just think Celta Vigo better side, but I, d I don't. We don't really know a lot about Spanish football, but I think we both think Celta, yourself, Celta Vigo, <laughs> good club. Yeah. Uh, now we'll move on to Leganes, who face Real Valladolid at home or Valladolid. We don't. We're not. I'm not good on pronunciation. Mm. But how, how have you got this one down? I've gone um, Leganes one, uh, Real uh, Valladolid uh, two. Um, obviously, Real Valladolid is are um, a Madrid based team uh, the smallest out of obviously much smaller than Atletico and Real Madrid um, have had some past success um, in terms of finishing quite well in the table I think they finished in the UEFA Cup spot once as well but um, as it was then but I think um, Real had the little win 2-1 yeah that's fair enough I've gone for a one all draw as you liked in the Bundesliga predictions you love the one alls I think both evenly matched sides can't really see a side winning. They might win on the day, I don't know, but I just think one all. And now we go on to probably what we think will be the easiest prediction of the week in terms of who's going to win. Yeah. We uh, It's Mallorca who face the best team of our, in, uh, in, in Spain. Spain at the minute, Barcelona. What have you got then for this one? Oh, it's going to be a 3 0. Easy away win for Barcelona, I think. Um, even. even... If they haven't played for ages, I just think they've got too much glass all over the pitch. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, th I think Suarez is still injured, injured, but they've still got players. Away. They've still got players like Busquets in the middle of the park. Um, they've still got obviously they've got the genius that is Messi. Yeah, a little tactician on the ball. Um, and they've even like players like um, Vidal. Yeah, loads of players. Um, to Stegen in goal. To Stegen in goal. That's where I think they're and going to get clean got, sheet. We've got Griezmann now, haven't they, and players like that? He'll replace Suarez for now, I reckon. De Jong. The guy yeah, bought from Ajax. Yeah, they've got too much class over the too pitch. Too much class, yeah. I've, I've gone 4-0. I yeah, just it's think it's only going to go one yeah, way. Landslide, Barcelona yeah, I mean, win. I've got 3-0, but it could be... Could it could get, be 4, could be 5, could, could be 2. You know, yeah. it could, could be anything. Could get silly. Yeah. And now we move on to the two athletics. We've got Athletic Club de Bilbao, who uh, welcome Atletico Madrid. What have you got down for this one? I've gone Athletic Madrid to win um, 3-1. 3-1. Um, obviously, it's a long time since they, they're not Liverpool out of the Champions League, luckily. Very luckily. Yeah. 2-0 um, down and they won it. Yeah, because yeah. 
they're not in the same league as Liverpool I'll tell you that much but they obviously a surprise managed everyone, to that, do a smash and grab raid at Anfield but I think they've still got a lot of good players um, so I think they will beat um, Bilbao quite comfortably 3-1 yeah, I've got them down to win 2-0. Even though they're sixth in the table at the minute, not doing brilliantly in the league, doing better in the Champions League, I think they'll come back with a bit of confidence. Bilbao, on the other hand, I don't think they'll have so much about them mm. since they've come back, but I just think 2-0. Now we we'll move on to the club of the shirt I'm wearing at the minute, Real Madrid, who face Ibar. I got this shirt when I went to watch Real Madrid play against Las Palmas uh, a few years back. This obviously is not a home kit, it's a third kit. I, I love this kit, let me know what you think of it down below. No, don't support Real Madrid, of course, and Pompey, but mm. probably my favourite team in Spain, not because of the glory, just because I've seen them, in my opinion. But what have you got down, without further ado, what have you got down for this one? Uh, I've got for Real Madrid 2 0 win. Um, once again, I think they're far superior to Elbar in terms of uh, uh, squad quality and things like that. Um, obviously, they're, they're a massive team. Um, probably not as good as they used to be since they lost Ronaldo. They still haven't replaced him, in my opinion. Yeah, etc. But they've still got class players, Modric, Bale, Benz Benzema, players like that, um, Tony Cruz, um, yeah. Courtois. So I think they'll win 2 now. And uh, I'm going to shake your hand on this one. The first of the week, we've yeah. got the same, same uh, scoreline down. Just think, much better side. They've got Marcelo at left-back as well. They've got Tony Cruz, they've got Luka Modric, mm. Benzema... They've got players like that, even players on the wing, some young Brazilian talent they've got coming mm. through at the minute. Definitely got the potential to win the league. I think they're only a point behind Barcelona at the minute, so they mm. can definitely still win it. We'll be doing a predictions video, so we'll show you where we think everyone's going to finish. That'll be coming up. Yeah. Or even it might have gone out before this video, we're not quite sure yet. But anyway, with it, yeah, they're just a much better side than Ibar are, so 2-0 to Real Madrid. And now we move on to the final fixture of this match week. Not the finest fixtures of the week, as I found out. This is being played on Sunday, and the first round of the next fixtures is being played on Monday. So it's literally straight into the next round of fixtures, so we have to be quick on this. Um, but it's Real Sociedad, who are playing Otsasuna at home. What have you got down for this one? Uh, one all draw. Yeah. That I've, so. I've gone close. I've gone high scoring. I've gone 3-2 to Real Sociedad. I think they're just a bit better. I think neither side have a very strong defence. A side has good attacks, possibly, so I just think weak weak defence versus strong attack, 3-2 to Real Sociedad. Now that's where this video ends. Uh, the, the question I have to ask you now, Dad, is uh, how many likes can we get on this video? We're going for, um, I think we go for, this is the first one we've done, so I think we go for 15 likes. But, um, obviously people try and watch, uh, watch it, but... Oh? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But, yeah. So we've got 15 likes on this video, 15 mate. likes. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, can we get 15? Still trying to hit 300 by the end of this month. Hope you're all enjoying football coming back. Hope you're enjoying our content. And uh, stay safe.